hi there back with another video and in this video we will learn how to add a delivery picker uh, at the card page and allow the user to select the del delivery date before they uh, proceed to the checkout let's dive deep into it so as you can see I am on the card page and I have a product already added uh, to the card uh, so let's try to check out without selecting a delivery date and it should stop us from doing so let's test it out as you can see uh, it says that the field is required and hence we have to select a delivery date before proceeding to the checkout now before we uh, dive into the code there are two important things for you to understand we are using a date field type over here you can learn more about this uh, over here and we are also using the cart attributes uh, and you can create unlimited attributes on the card page uh, so there are two important things let's uh, take a look at the code uh, the one the most imp important thing is the name attribute uh, which should say attributes and this attribute would be shown at the order page and this has to match this one in the value we also make made this required and hence it was working but for it to be required there is one more condition and that is to make sure that the form tag does not have a no validate property over here it should be something like this it should not have the no validate attribute so let's take this out back again so our and then our required uh, uh, field will work right so we also did autocomplete off so that the browser does not say what the user inputs into that particular field um, and since I wanted to make it consistent with the theme designs I used the code from the contact form uh, and uh, it's like uh, consistent with the theme now uh, since we have understood the card attributes and let's uh, see it in, uh, uh, in, in action let's select the uh, date and uh, let's proceed to check out once it loads the checkout we will input our information let's uh, proceed further let's place the order and in a second we should have an order over here now once we open this you will see that in the additional information we received the date selected by the customer now this can this can be accessed uh, in the emails as well uh, and you can do further action on top of this but generally if you ship products out based on the requirements by the customer this is how you do it uh, let me know if you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any custom requests uh, drop them down in the comment section and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.